Veterans of all American wars are being honored, like these troops returning to their base in Germany, seemed most on the minds of celebrants who got an early start marking this holiday. On behalf of the Baltimore community and the Iron Brigade Rear Attachment, welcome home! They stepped forward, they fought, they shed their own blood. From the dedication of a Purple Heart Museum in upstate New York on Friday, to a freeway near Camp Pendleton, California, where hundreds of flags honored Marines who have died in Iraq. The Mission Center will hold a moment of silence and a replay ceremony at 11 a.m. Also, a Veterans Day parade is scheduled at 10 o'clock this morning at Nazareth Area High School in Northampton County. Services will also be held... Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Dear Mrs. Evans, by this time, no doubt, you've heard about the death of your son, Joe. I realize how futile it is to alleviate your sorrow, but I desire to tell you everything I know. Joe was a member of the artillery observation team whose job it was to bring fire upon the enemy and upon their installations and the places where they hid it wasn't doing this that Joe gave his life Joe was with us about one year and in that time became so dear he was a soldier, knew his job well He was liked by every man around We all missed Joe very much And I believe that we were touched By the pain and sorrow that comes with the passing Of one that's loved The 
forward up team was in the third floor of a house the final days liberating Manila Joe was on radio on the evening of the 17th when the observation post was fired upon Joe was with us about one year and in that time became so dear he was a soldier knew his job well he was liked by every man around we all missed Joe very much and I believe that we were touched by the pain and sorrow that comes with the passing of one that's loved. Joe's been given proper burial in conformity with military standards. He's buried in Armed Forces Cemetery number one in Manila. Your son's body lies in plot six, row 10, grave number 93. Joe was with us about one year, and in that time became so dear. He was a soldier, knew his job well. He was liked by every man around. And we all missed Joe very much, and I believe that we were touched by the pain and sorrow that comes with the passing of one that's love. Joe was with us about one year and in that time became so dear. He was a soldier who knew his job well. He was liked by every man around. We all miss Joe very much, I believe that we were touched by the pain and sorrow that comes with the passing of one that's loved. By the pain and sorrow that comes with the passing of one that's loved. the story in these words, we hear from Don Cornell. I came here to talk for Joe. He wants me to let you know. He can't keep that day with you. 